me truck, yeah, that's my choice to ride. I'm stand too close, my diamonds gonna buy. I get drugs for the right price, yeah, yeah. What up, my family and Zoobies, and welcome back to your girl, Bianca Chanel XO channel. What up, though? As y'all can see, I am currently in the car already because we about to go on a whole adventure. I just found out that they are selling the Impossible Burger at White Castles, bro. And back in the day when I used to eat meat, honey, I used to love me some White Castles, even though you know you would be on the toilet. But that's like, White Castles, I feel, was like the best food to sober up on like when you was lit honey go to white castles your stomach gonna be tall up in the morning but you need a good bowel movement but hey they are now selling the impossible burger if you don't know what the impossible burger is it is a vegan plant-based burger um and they are selling it at white castle i believe they started selling it i want to say in california and chicago to try it out I know it was two states they started in to try it out, so I guess it did well enough for them to put it nationwide and all of their food chains. So, your girl about to go try it. I don't believe any of the cheese is vegan, but um, I'm just going to get mine with no pickles, definitely want onions, mustard, and ketchup, and we about to see how this go because i've tried the um impossible burger multiple times i absolutely love it it's good it's delicious um i always get them when i go to my favorite restaurant that y'all seen plenty of times on here if you haven't go back and watch the vlog but it's based in royal oak and um it's called al mary's and they sell the impossible burger that's the only restaurant that i know of that sells the impossible burger so i always go there or whatever and get it and that's literally one of my favorite things on the menu they have a lot of yummy delicious vegan food if you're in michigan ever want to try them out um they don't just sell vegan food they sell um regular food as well but you know i love their vegan food like especially they vegan chicken and waffles <laughs> tofu and waffles is what i'm gonna call it <laughs> but chicken and waffles <sighs> so good y'all i kid y'all not but um yes today i'm going to be trying the impossible burger from white castles for the first time so let's get on this adventure and go let go She no longer cry, look you in your eye and tell you that I know she living for a nigga, dying for a nigga I don't know what I'm thinking about you <laughs> Thinking about what I might do Don't know what you got in the me uh, I have yet to take, I'm sorry about the lighting, it's terrible, you know But I have yet to take down my hair. Like, this is the longest. To know me, to know that I don't leave braids in my hair for a long time. Like, probably a week and a half at the max. And I don't let these in my hair for about four weeks. Like, I'm shocked. <laughs> because it's just so easy just to get up and go with braids. So, I'm going to take these down, I think, tomorrow. And I am going to venture out and try to braid my own hair. But I think I'm going to give it a break for, like, a week. I might put my hair up in a ponytail or something. Or put my little poof ball on. <laughs> because I think I just want to get my hair at rest for a week before I just braid it right back up again. So I don't know. Who knows? I want to order another wig. 
But I want to order some hair to make um, a wig because your girl do make wigs. Yes, I do. Yeah, so I need to take my hair down. Like, for real, for real. Because at this point, honey, it needs to come down. <laughs> it really do. Here we go, y'all. I see. Um, do you guys have the impossible burger? Yes, we do. Um, can I get four of those with no cheese, no pickle, just ketchup, mustard, and the onions? You want ketchup and mustard on it? Yeah, and don't you guys put onions on there too? Is that complete your order? Yep. Can you tell them they don't want Y'all so cute. I'm too geek. Like, should I be this geek for fast food? Yo, I don't even eat fast food in real life. Like, I really don't at all since i became a vegan i might um go eat at a restaurant and something like that but like as far as like fast food other than like subway because i go to subway and i get their veggie delight sandwich <clears throat> and um other than that and sometimes i might like stop at wendy's or somewhere and get like some fries if i'm in the mood for some fries and i've been out all day i've been out all day and have not eaten then yes so y'all i got four sliders and they came up to 801 so they were two dollars a piece two four six eight yeah <laughs> and they advertised me like a mug no impossible sliders they better not put cheese on there uh oh lord somebody's in the race let them be okay in the name of jesus wherever they're going <clears throat> i pray every time i see an ambulance every time i pray all the time but i definitely pray y'all i I have to go grocery shopping and my arm is like literally being forced behind my back because child I should have got something to drink but what do they have to drink here I meant to bring me a water but your girl I meant to bring water but your girl completely forgot completely forgot and I hate coming to this particular white castle I should have went to the one on Hall Road but this one is closer to me versus going all the way out on the road so i came to this one y'all we about to get sun galore oh we about to get sun galore let me pay for this and i'm gonna come back y'all we got the good so it don't smell like regular white castle Bug guys, but oh look, it's so cute. No cheese. You can definitely tell the patty. I put pickles, and I specifically said no pickles. I hate pickles, by the way. Like I said, no pickles. When your girl say no pickles, I mean no pickles. But you can definitely tell it looks you can tell the difference it's thicker than a regular um white castle burger so this is what it looks like in this little snug and as you see nasty behind pickles oh i hate pickles with a passion it's crazy because i used to love them so now it's about to have a nasty pickle smell on here Ugh, but i'm still eat it but i love the science Steve mustard. Did they put ketchup on here? Uh, why did they put so many pickles on here? This is my official first taste test. Let's see how it tastes. Uh, it definitely does not have the like classic white castle burger taste like if you taste the white castle burger you don't know it's a white castle burger 
If I tasted this, I would know that it's not a White Castle burger. Mmm. It's good though. It's definitely good. And this is what the inside looks like. The Impossible Burger looks very meaty. Very meaty. <clears throat> but it's all plant-based. Um, it's pretty good. Like I said, if you're looking for the classic, if you think it's going to taste like a White Castle Burger, which I wasn't expecting it to taste like a White Castle Burger, but if that's what you're expecting, then you're not going to get that. It definitely tastes like the Impossible Burger. Mm. Cause like I said, I had the Impossible Burger before. So, um, that's what it tastes like. They could have put a little bit more ketchup and mustard on here, but I got extra onions because I didn't get, yeah, well y'all heard me. Because I didn't get pickles, but they still put pickles on here. But y'all, uh, pretty good. Would I be eating this every day? No, of course not, but it's nice. Yeah, excuse me, I'm so with my mouth full. I'm so rude. <laughs> but it's just nice to know that if I wanted to go out <clears throat> to a restaurant or just stop and get something to eat, then I could it from an unlikely source, which is my castle. So, yes, no, I tried it. And I'm content. I would have added some more ketchup and mustard, but honey, that's just me. But you can definitely tell the difference between the two. I say the Impossible Burger can stand on its own. It don't need to be compared to the White Castle Burger. I got me a cherry slush, y'all. And they are a nice size to me. They are bigger than the original. Let's see if they put pickles on this one. Oh, y'all, they put pickles on everything. I can't stand with somebody. This is why I don't like coming to this White Castle because they always mess my order up. And I can smell the stinky pickles. Ew. But y'all, it's good. It's good. Mm. Mm. Thumbs up, White Castle. I'm proud of y'all. But let me get out of here because I gotta go to um a grocery shopping so I need some grocery something in my house. I basically need to get like fruit and veggies mostly. So I need to go do that. Pretty good. Pretty good. And y'all, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Cause I have not ate nothing today at all. Like I got off work, worked 16 hours. Got off work at seven this morning, went home, went straight to sleep. Like I was exhausted. And I probably woke up like around two. I hate cherry, ugh. I just need something to wet my whistle. I hate cherry slushies. Ugh, disgusting. But I'll check back in with y'all later. I'm getting full and I'm gonna suck on one. But I'll check back in with y'all Good morning, y'all. It's literally the next day. I literally just woke up like I don't know where my phone is. So I can tell you what time it is, but I literally just woke up. If y'all hear a noise, that's my fan on because I sleep with my fan on year round. I don't care if it's hot or cold. I just love to hear the sound of the fan. It's just so soothing to me. But yes, yeah, so y'all, I'm about to attempt to take my hair down today. I'm trying to debate if I want to give her a break or put more braids in it because. I want to try to do the rubber band method with my braids. So I got hair that's like a 1B color. 
but I think I need to go get some more here, like a couple more packs from the beauty supply. So I might do that, but right now I'm about to eat something because your girl is starving. I'm about to, I'm about to, <laughs> I am about to eat. I went semi grocery shopping yesterday. I really didn't get everything that I needed <clears throat> as far as vegetables and fruit because I went to Myers last night. Me and baby went to Myers last night and honey, the produce was not up to par. Like usually Myers be coming through clutch with the produce, but honey, they didn't have no strawberries at all they said they wouldn't get another shipment they had the signs that would say they wouldn't get another shipment of strawberries until monday which would be today they didn't have the grapes was picked over um i wanted to get my little salad i like the little salad cucumbers went over there the water because you know they got it where they spray the water on them the water that it was in looked murky and nasty and just because they remodeling the um myers up the street for me and it's just like produce was not up to par and the last time i bought a watermelon from there it was not good it was just all uh, bad as you can see little nobi is sleepy <laughs> behind me but yeah i'm about to start taking down my hair i'm about to eat some breakfast i'm about to watch helix um if you've never seen helix they used to come on sci-fi like a long time ago like a while ago a couple of years ago and i used to love it i hate that they canceled it after two seasons but i guess they ratings have went low the second season but i'm just like that i'll be why i like to re-watch shows that i already um watched that i love like i'm watching the following i don't watch that before and i'll watch a helix i watched all of the first season the day before yesterday and I, i'm starting the second season so i'm about to go in there and watch that and yeah i'm probably chilling most of the day today and doing some stuff around the house um, yeah but other than that y'all i'm just dreading taking out my hair like can i just leave it in a bun uh but it needs to come down i'm ready to wash my hair so i should be with you guys later y'all so this is what i'm about to eat for your breakfast this is baby cereal um which he got the idea for me because i seen it first but i ended up getting the kashi berry crumble and it was created by kids but i wanted to try it and see and yes it is vegan but this is the one i got but this was the one that i was gonna get and then baby was like oh that sounds good so i'm gonna get it so this is his cereal so i'm about to eat some of his cereal and it's the raisin bran crunch apple strawberry clusters it sounds so good and y'all i don't know if y'all know but i usually clean my uh brushes with oh it's a little rubber thing that i use that came with one of my makeups i use this little rubber thing to clean my brushes with lavender um baby soap baby shampoo but I usually get the Johnson & Johnson. But y'all, I got this one. It's Parents' Choice I seen yesterday. Guess how much this bottle was? 97 cent. And it worked just as good as Johnson & Johnson on your makeup brushes. I really want to get the little spin thing off Amazon for my brushes. So I might order that today so it can be easier. But usually this works just fine too when I clean off um, my makeup brushes. Y'all look, I broke a nail. This is why I hate getting my nails long because they break easier, but I broke this one. So I'm trying to debate if I want to go get it fixed or not because child, I'm irritated. But <laughs> yes, this and this is what I use to clean my makeup brushes. And y'all, this makes yo the makeup come out so much easier but if you want to buy a cheaper alternatives to johnson and johnson's lavender um baby shampoo get the parents choice at walmart for 97 cent honey it works just as good and noble in here where he at meowing what you want 
You just had a whole snack. Rubbing up my leg, trying to, trying to get me, trying to get me to love them. <laughs> All right, y'all. What is up, y'all? As y'all can see, it's the same day, just some hours later. Has to get my life. Um, yes, got threw back on my wig. Y'all know I did a review on this wig, so if you haven't seen it. Make sure you go check it out. It's the Peruvian um, by Outre. They boutique hair or something like that. But I did do a review on this wig. So if you're interested, go check it out. But yes, y'all, I feel so drained today. But I still need to finish my grocery shopping. So that's where I'm about to head out to. And baby is supposed to be coming over. So he, y'all, I'm so tired. Like... Whew. But baby is supposed to be coming over so he can make dinner tonight. He is making spaghetti. So that's what we have for dinner. Um, but other than that, yes, I'm about to go run these last couple of errands. Then I'm coming on my back home. Back home. Because <laughs> I'm just tired. Like, I'm just tired. All right, y'all. I'll check in with y'all in a minute. Thank you.